This is Ibo Area TV. Hello. This material is by Ato Alves Pereira. It's somebody who saw it all. I think he was a pilot during the Nigerian Biafran War. One of the surviving pilots on the side of Biafra. You know, he was sharing his experience on what happened at that particular time. Uli and Oga. Biafra two men airfields were at Enugu and Port Harcourt. Three other landing grounds existed at Calabar. Oweri and Ogoja, but with little, if any, landing facilities such as minimum landing ads, etc. The laws of Enugu Biafra capital in October 4th, 1967, and two weeks later, Calabar in southeast, held the federal troops to control the Biafra Cameroon border and seal off the Biafran coastal ports. We were forced to transfer international communications including valuable arms flights to Port Harcourt, which became Biafra's main outlet to the war till May 1968. It was the laws of Enugu which prompted the concept to establish a series of secret airstrips in the Biafran bush and a team of Biafran engineers began to select the possible sites. So the effort concentrated upon the site codenamed Annabelle just to the south of the village at Oli, by far the largest of the projected new airstrips. Oli became synonymous with the entire Biafra effort to survive, next to the Rising Sun National Insignia. It undoubtedly became the best known symbol of Biafra. The strip was converted from a stretch of the main Oweri to Ihiala Road. Nevertheless, it was commented by one airlift pilot, much later, a nice wide road, but a damned narrow runway. For inbound flights, Uli operated only between the hours of darkness, officially from 700 to 500 UTC or GMT at the time. Landing was only permissible after the crew had transmitted the correct landing code for the night. The coded faces change regularly. Towards the end of January 1969, the Biafran Air Force introduced a new frequency shift system for the final approach and landing phase. With this new arrangement, pilots initially contact Biafra Air Control Center, ACC, using the normal code format. As soon as the contact with an inbound aircraft was established and confirmed, then, depending on weather, enemy activity, traffic, ACC will then clear the aircraft to Uli Tara in plain language until touchdown. Iyala is just off the road along the approach to Uli. The church with its two tall spires was visible on approach to Uli. Landing planes passed just over eight, as I remember. Many aviators were buried there. By the end of the war, 35 airmen were buried there. Nigeria bulldozed the graves. Uga. Uga was only 27 kilometers to the northeast of Uli. Like Uli, the strip at Uga was converted from a stretch of the main Olo to Oka Road. By the end of 1968, it was declared operational, but only as a secondary strip to Uli and strictly for government and military usage only. The first known landing of a regular military flight to Uga came on the night of 10 stroke 11 May 1969 when Jack Mallock and crew flew one of his own DC 7 CFs into Uga. None relished the idea of using Uga airstrip again. The landing surface was not good as Uli, with considerable amounts of lost stone and shingle. The surface proved to be a major hazard, especially when putting heavenly laden DC-7CF into reverse pitch after landing. 
Contrary to popular belief, very few flights were made by DC-7s or L1049Gs into Uga. Uga was the T to 6Gs base. From here we took off for the targets in the front line air bases and in the back of enemy lines. The headquarters chose the targets. We execute them. If necessary, in emergency or with the MIG-17 overflying our base, we had the south of Omwahia another airstrip at Mbosi. The MIG-17 located the airstrip and several retaliation attacks were carried out against the strip on 26 November and 1st December in the hope of either hitting the aircraft or rendering the strip sufficiently deniable for use. The Nigerian Air Force bombed and strapped Oga many times but never hit a plane or one of us. There is God. The bombs are not for us. Or the Nakajuku. We just share the experience of a foreign Biafran pilot during the war, Ato Alves Perella. Thanks for listening to Igbo Area TV. Please subscribe to our channel for more updates. God bless you and bye for now.